Hello, welcome to Excel. This week you're lurking, working with, in Excel and I'm going to be doing Excel 1, Project 1, the Delta and Discount Assignment for you. Here in Blackboard you have your instructions and then your starter file. I've already downloaded and printed out the instructions so I'm just going to click on the starter file. It's going to open up down here in the bottom and it's going to open up in a protected view and so the first thing I need to do is enable editing here and the second thing I need to do is go ahead and save this. So I'm going to go to file, go to save as, I'm going to browse. I'm going to find my class folder in my documents and I'm going to change this name to Excel 1 Project 1 Sessions and save. And then the next thing it wants me to do is it wants me to go to the Backstage view. So if I go to File and I go to Info, here's my Backstage view. What we want to do is we want to go over to Properties and go to Advanced Properties. And here where it says Author, you're going to change that and you're going to type in your name. That lets your instructor know that you're the one that's working on this and say OK and then click on this arrow up here to go back to your Excel worksheet. Now in Excel one thing you'll notice right away is the ribbon. You had the ribbon in Word so all that how it works shouldn't be anything new. However in Excel you'll see some new things on the ribbon like there's a formula tab, a data tab. I have a developer tab on mine. You might not have that on yours. That's okay. You don't really need that for this class. You'll also notice down here in the work area, you've got letters going across the top for your column names and numbers going across the side for your rows. So you'll notice wherever your column and rows intersect, you've got a little box and that's the cell. Right now I'm on cell C2. The name of the cell is always the column number followed by the row number. So if you're told to do something in A2, you're going to go to A2. So you need to watch when you're doing the instructions to make sure that you're in the correct cell or even on the correct worksheet. Now down here at the bottom you'll notice we're on sheet 1. So we are first of all going to make some changes to our information in our table. We're going to go to A2, so make sure you're in A2, and we're going to type in monthly departmental cells. Now you haven't really entered anything into your cell until you've either hit this checkbox up here or you've hit the enter key on your keyboard. Now even though you've got stuff it looks like in B2, you really don't. It's the information from A2 that's bleeding over into B2. So you have entered information, the monthly department cells. You can look up here in your uh, formula bar and you can see that's what's in cell A2. Now we want to go to B5, so we're just going to click in B5, and we're going to change that number to 13442.36. Now when I hit the enter key or that check mark, whichever you prefer, you'll notice that the total columns automatically change for us. And that's because they've used a formula when they set this up, and you'll learn more about formulas later on. So now we're going to go to C7 and we're going to change that to 1155 to 8.13 and enter. Again, notice those columns change. Not only do the columns change, but look down here. Your chart's changing too. It's really cool. All because formulas have been set up in it. So now we're going to go to D5 and we're going to change that to 2475 7.85 and then E6 we're going to change that to 39651.54 and I'm just hitting the enter key then we're going to go to F7 we're going to change that to 29 
0.88. And finally, we're going to go to G6 and enter 19585.46. Enter. So you notice as you put your information in, the totals all changed and your cell chart changed. Now we're going to go to the worksheet title in A1, and we want this to be more impressive, so we're going to change it to the title cell styles. Just like we had cell, sty cell styles in Word, we also have them in Excel. So over here on your ribbon on the Home tab, we have the cells, or we have styles over here. And we're going to click Cell Styles, and we're going to find the one that says Title. Now your ribbon might look different than mine because your screen might be bigger so you can see more, but you're looking for the Cell Styles button. You can see how it changed my text. Now we're going to merge and center it. We want our title to be centered over our table. So the easiest way to do that is we're going to merge and center. So we're going to select the cell range A1 through H1. So I'm going to put my insertion point in A1, make that my active cell. My cursor is going to change to that white plus sign. When it looks like that, I'm going to hold down with my left mouse key and I'm going to drag over to H1. So I have the cell range A1 through H1 selected. Now up here on my home tab, I've got merge and center. I can click on that. And it's going to merge all those cells together and then center my contents. Doesn't that look a little nicer? Now we're going to go to A2, our monthly department cells. Now we want to change the point, the font to 14 point. Do that the same way we did it in Word. I'm going to come up here to the font, change it to 14. And now I'm going to merge and center it again. I'm going to go from A2 over to H2. Hit Merge and Center. And now I'm going to change the font color to blue accent 1, darker 50%. So I'm going to come up here to the font color. I'm going to find the blue accent 1, darker 50%. Now I'm going to come clear down here. I don't want it to be sheet one. I don't want. The, I want to change the worksheet title. So I'm going to double click down here where it says sheet one, and I'm going to now type in department cells and hit enter. And now if I right click on that tab, you can see I can actually rename it from here. I can do all sorts of stuff. But one thing I want to do is a tab color. I want to change the tab color to blue accent 1 darker 50%. So it changes the color just a little bit. Now we have our chart. We've already talked about how this data up here reflects in our chart. So I'm going to select the chart. Now as soon as I select the chart, just like selecting pictures in Word, I have a new contextual tab up here on my ribbon. It says Chart Tools. And I'm going to click on Design. I want this chart to be on its own worksheet. I don't want it to be on the worksheet with the table. So I'm going to come over here under Design. I'm going to Move Chart. I'm actually going to move this to its own worksheet. I'm going to click New Sheet, and I'm going to name that new sheet Cells Analysis Chart. Say OK. So now you can see I have department cells here. There's no chart. And now I have cells analysis chart. There it is. I want to change this title to all caps and I want it to be monthly cells total. Monthly cells totals. Now I'm going to go back to the department cells worksheet and this really isn't delta discount 
it's my own discount store. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to get rid of Delton and I'm going to type in my own last name. Make sure my cap lock key is turned off. And it's going to be Sessions Discount. So we played around a little bit with Excel, changed some of the dates, saw how formulas work to move the information around, and we moved our chart around. Now you're ready to save this. You're going to close it and go back to Blackboard and submit it for grading.